Hi students, today I am in front of you, not with any lesson related to your syllabus, but something which will be very helpful in your life. The idea that I would like to give you today is think and grow in life through education. So how you should improve in your life through education. That's what I would like to speak to you. So I will take a quote from Napoleon Hill. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So, if you can have an idea in your mind, if something can be conceived in your mind and believe in it, you can achieve. So, first of all, my question is, what do you want the most? Is it money, fame, power, contentment, personality, peace of mind or happiness? So, first we have to decide what is, what do you want the most? First, if you want to be successful in life, a thought should be there in our mind. Then that thought should lead to an idea. That idea should guide you to opinions. And there should be well-structured plan. And I would like to say, riches cannot be measured in terms of money. So, first of all, what we have to achieve, what we want, that we should know. All should know what it is that you want. So, if you know that, if you have a goal in your life, then what you have to do is, with that, if you are ready with the goal, then search for it and you will achieve it. And if your goal is ready, you have to search for it and you can achieve it. And I would like to say another thing that is, there is no such thing as something for nothing. If you do something, you will get a result. If you don't do, there will not be any result at all. So, what you have to, if you want something, ready to do something for it. And don't think that something will come for nothing. If you are idle, nothing will come to you. You cannot be a successful person. So, all who are ready may learn not only what to do, but also how to do it, as well as the need, needed stimulus to make a start. That's what the education gives you. First, you should know what to do then you should know how to do it. Then, in order to make a uh, starting, you have to get a stimulus that can be given by your teachers, your education. So, all achievements have their beginning in an idea. Already I told you. The idea comes alive from education. The syllabus and curriculum is important, but the teachers who guide you properly are the most important ones in your life. They lead you to creativity and creative imagination. So, one should be determined to remain ready until he got that which he was seeking. So, you should know what you want and you should seek and you have to wait to be determined to remain ready in order that you can achieve it. Adopt a definite purpose. Then a major definite purpose and with that a constant desire to achieve it. Then what else required? If you know what you wanted and how the determination to, to stand by the desire until you realize it, then you will be a successful person. 
here i would like to say the story of aryo dobi who is called to be a person who was just 3 feet away from gold from england he went to south africa in search of gold and he arranged everything he started digging the mine and it continued for many days and at one point he became very much um worried about and he thought that he will never get what you call the gold so what he said i'll stop it then he sold the machinery and other things to a person who was ready to buy for a meager amount he took that amount and went away and the one who got the machinery and the field where the mining started he had an idea he started calculating after calculating a lot he found that the gold should be somewhere just 3 feet away from the place where they stopped digging so he called the engineer and asked him to make the movement and to dig just 3 feet then the engineer said no sir it's not possible you will never get because they stopped it because it's not they never expected it then he was adamant to that you have to start so they started just in 3 feet they got the gold and the news went back to derby i would like to speak about him not about the person who got the gold just digging 3 feet and he was a person derby was a person who quit and but one thing he learned from that learned from his quitability to stickability so he quit and afterwards he wanted to stick to what he plans and actually he became an insurance uh, company manager and what happened is he had another example with a child who persisted for a 50 cent when he failed in his endeavor there in south africa for in search of gold he came back to england and he was with his uh, uncle then a black child a colored child came over there and asked for just 50 cents then his uncle shouted at her, uh, at her and asked her to go away she said nothing then but she waited there waited for a long time after half an hour or more uncle again asked her, why are you here go away then she said my mother told me to get 50 cents from you that's all she did not say that you should give or nothing like just waited there another half an hour over then also uh, the uncle shouted but she was not ready to move away then after some time the uncle the his uncle decided that he will give 50 cent he took his purse from the pocket took just 50 cents and gave to her then he understood somebody says no means you need not uh, leave it you can have it you can wait for so this idea he took these two examples two experiences he made in his life to be successful as a insurance company manager so that's what say listening to a no you are not able to is not a matter at all if you are ready to do something for your achievement or success success come to those who become success conscious so first of all we should have a success conscious i'll be a successful person i'll be successful in life i have found out my goal i have the burning desire for that and i will be a successful or i am a successful person that success conscious will make a person to be 
successful. Then, from where failure comes? Failure comes to those who indifferently allow themselves to become failure conscious. So, some people are negative in their mind and they never think that they will be successful in life. So, if you have that feeling, you will never be a successful person. Then, what do you have to do? Learn the art of changing your mind from failure conscious to success conscious. So, what is that? Desire is the starting point of all achievement. So, in success, you have six points that you have to, uh, or six practical steps you have. First of all, be definite. Then, determine what you intend to give in return. So, what is your goal? Already you must have found out. And what you have to do is just determine what you intend to give in return. So you cannot get some uh, benefit without doing anything. So and one more thing is the third thing is establish a definite date. Then create a definite plan. And then you have to write out it clearly in a, as a concise statement. So if you have a goal to achieve, to be successful in life, what do you have to do? Write out it clearly as a concise statement. And the last thing is, read it twice daily. When you get up, after uh, maybe in the beginning of the day, and before going to bed. These two times you have to read the concise statement about your goal of life. So, without basic study, no one can reach anyway. To achieve something, you have to spend something from your part. Maybe some time, some money as payment for your teachers or uh, for the institutions who will teach you the life. And next what we have to have is a burning desire. Convince yourself what you want as a success. Then, one more thing you have to remember is, success requires no apologies. There is no uh, way to say that, that is the reason, he is the reason, or... Uh, they are not accept me, accepting me or they are not ready to listen to me, they don't help me. All these are not at all an apology. You, ha you cannot say such kind of things like. Failure permits no alibis also. If any failure comes, it is to you. Nobody will take care of that. So you have to accept the failure, but you are work, a burning desire, a convincing of yourself is required. But one thing is sure and certain, what is that? Every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent success. In 10th class, second lesson in the first unit, we have studied the stumbling blocks should be turned as a stepping stone. So, you can fall down there. But no, you should not fall down. You have to get up. You have to use it as a stepping stone. Climb over it and you reach a bit more height. Then, I would like to say, dreams are the seedling of reality. So, somebody wants to do something means dream about it. You have seen again the story of Wright Brothers. They just dreamed that they will fly. And that dreams will be setting yourself into reality. Last day you might have seen the aeroplanes from uh, France came to India. In Ambala station they have uh, made the arrangement for that. And all the TV channels were uh, giving the 
what you call the video that was released by the air force so a rafal aeroplane so it is very important that somebody dreams about it and it gives a reality and if you have burning desire even you can outwit the mother nature the story of uh, paulo coelho that's the story of alchemy you can see how he achieves something that he wanted in his life and his desire outwits the mother nature he had a lot of problems but he just became a successful person after a lot of adversity so every adversity brings with it the seed of equivalent advantage some problems may happen now this is uh, an age where we don't have real classes only virtual classes are going on and we are all locked down at home the schools may not be opened for some more time and public gatherings are banned you cannot even visit your friend you cannot listen to your teacher um, physically so only some media anyway this is available to us and then only we will be able to take advantage of the particular situation that we are facing so you cannot say that i was studying in my 9th 10th 8th classes when the lockdown period was going on so i am not sure about the idea we cannot say i am not sure about the concept we cannot say we have to know it all the means that we are able to get we have to use it so we should have a faith and visualization of and believe in the attainment of desire we should have a faith in order to achieve something a visualization of and believe in attainment of desire that's what is required of us so teachers specialize on teaching knowledge but they do not specialize on the organization on the use of knowledge so what i would say is knowledge will not attract money unless it is organized and integrate intelligently directed through practical plans of action to the definite end of accumulation of success so what learn the art of learning by respecting the hard work of your teachers so this in this age of virtual classroom don't skip the videos learn to take running notes learn to clear your doubts be ready to achieve your goals of life so you might have heard the word knowledge is power but i would say it can be a false belief why you know knowledge is only a potential power it has the power but that potential power should be used the failure of education institutions or is to give only knowledge and not to teach them how to organize and use knowledge after they acquire it so what do you have to do we have to develop from within an educated man is not one who has the abundance of general or specialized knowledge an educated man is one who has so developed the faculties of his mind that he may acquire anything he wants or its equivalent without violating the rights of others so we are locked down at home you cannot go out because it will be fatal to you and to others you may be uh, violating the rights of other people so what you have to do you have to be at home use all the sources that are available to you and make yourself a successful person so any man is educated who knows 
where to get knowledge when he needs it and how to organize that knowledge into definite plans of action. So that's what we are doing here in our school. St. Anthony's and St. Peter's schools are giving you this idea. You are educated. You should know where to get knowledge and when you need it and also how to organize this knowledge uh, into definite plans of action. If you know that, you will never be a failed person. You will be a successful person. So if your schooling has been limited, you will feel inferior. That's what, if you are having a learning gap, you may not be a successful individual. So specialized knowledge is among the most plentiful and cheapest form of service which you may one had. So you have to pay to know how to purchase knowledge. So first what you have to do, decide the sort of knowledge you require and the purpose for which it is needed. To a large extent, your major purpose in life, the goal toward which you are working will help determine what knowledge you need. This guidance is given by your teachers and naturally you will be able to achieve your goals of life. Then the second one is you need an accurate information concerning dependable sorts of knowledge. So through your videos and other, uh, Zoom classes and also uh, giving you some books and reading material with that, you are given dependable sorts of knowledge. You have to be thorough with it. And remember that not only you, everyone is after knowledge and with that knowledge only that you will be successful. So third, the person who stops studying merely because he has finished school or is forever hopelessly doomed to, doomed to mediocrity, no matter what may be his calling. So if you have decided your call or goal, what do you have to? You have to get more knowledge. So when, that's the reason why you are asked, if you have any doubts, please ask doubts. If you start thinking, then only you will grow. And that will lead to what you call a successful life. If you don't have that knowledge, uh, that ability to think properly, that you will not be a successful person. So, a favorable break comes through determination, definiteness of purpose, and desire to attain the goal. So, what kind of burning or uh, desire? A burning desire, which can be just like an obsession, will make you to achieve the goal. So, what is required? An organized planning. And there is a quotation from Napoleon Hill, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. So, whatever be the adversity, you have to have education. From education, you will have experience. And for that, you are having a particular thing called um, QSS formula. What is that? First one, you have to think about quality. Then you have to think about quantity. And you should inculcate the spirit of cooperation. And what is the problem that we face? Procrastination. Ah, I will do it afterwards. When the class is going on, okay, in the evening I will see. Or sometime afterwards, I can see it in the uh, Google Classroom or YouTube. So, that will not work. So, this procrastination is the opposite of decision. And that is a common enemy which practically every man must conquer. So, I'll do it afterwards is not at all for a successful person. So, you have to do it. And you are supposed to do it. And what you have to develop is a sixth sense. That is the creative imagination. 
the faculty of creative imagination is the direct link between the finite mind of man and infinite intelligence so the human becomes the superhuman or godly so our creative imagination makes us to reach the level of god the creator so you should have belief in god whatever comes in our way you should have the burning desire to achieve it and whatever is required you have to do it hope that this small talk will be useful to you in your life and to have a burning desire for achieving your goal best wishes to all of you who listened to it and be a successful person thank you very much we will meet again with another video after some time